What is up then guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. So we're still currently in a coronavirus pandemic, but we've got some good news. KFC is opening for drive throughs McDonald's is opening next week. But for us guys that like to go to the gym, we've got no news as of so when they're gonna be opening. So if you're feeling like me, you've not really done a good workout in about a month and a half, two months, and you're feeling a bit fench. If you don't know what that means, I'll put the description in there. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be making a barbell at home using some scrap pieces of metal that I've got lying around. So to do this, I've got a piece of 1.25 or 1.5 mil, and I've got a meter of it steel tube. I've got two, I think they're like three mil, 83 millimeter circles of steel two of the original brake discs that came on the Ford Fiesta and then at the end I've got a bit of a surprise for you guys that like to lift a bit heavier so yeah let's go going. Alright now so just before we carry it on you are going to need to know how to weld. I'm going to be using MIG welding but you can either use MIG, TIG, STIG, JB weld, all of them which the last two were a joke. You can use stick welder if you want but um, yeah let's crack on. So the plan of action is these 83 mm circles are small enough just to fit it inside of there and just get a nice little bead on without interrupting these holes which might come important later on and then what we do with the tube is we're just going to put the tube in the end wild the tube around the outside and then that should give us quite a solid dumbbell so yeah let's get sticking these together all right then but before we just get started this is the way that i'm going to be doing it this isn't the way that you've got to do it. For example, you don't have to make yourself a barbell. If you've got extra discs, you can make the bar much shorter and make yourself a pair of dumbbells. You don't even have to make a pair, you can just make the one pair, one, one dumbbell. Uh, study it then. Yeah, so you can just make the one dumbbell, it's completely up to you. If you've got access to a tube or pipe bender, you can make yourself a nice little easy curl bar. Like, this project is literally limited to what you have access to do or what you're able to do. Okay then, so it's at this point now that you welding gurus are going to want to fast forward because I'm either going to really disappoint you or make you cringe. So yeah, let's go. Alright then guys, so I've done a couple of tacks on the bottom, I've done a couple on the top as well. Um, I am still waiting for the new regulator to come for the welder, um, so this one's literally not letting me pull a lot of gas out so I am going to stick to tack welds because knowing my look I'll end up getting almost all the way through this and then I'll just end up blowing loads of holes through it so it's going to be stay safe do like a nice passive um, tacks which I know are really strong anyway um, but yeah gonna do a couple more and then we'll get them onto the discs Okay, let's go. All right then guys, so that's what it looks like now. Just got it all welded up. I did start to go off track and started to come up onto the thing, but um, I corrected myself. But yeah, um, you guys that do this for a job are probably gonna be like nodding your head right now. But yeah, this is still practice for me, still learning. Give it a month, you'll see what these wilds look like. But yeah, it's time to put the one on the top as well. Alright then guys, so the inside of that is all welded up now completely and the same side on that. I'm not going to say, I am pretty proud of myself. I don't know how I didn't get more grief for flux core welding a strut brace into the back of my car. Honestly, when I know welds are supposed to look something along the lines of that in comparison to the pigeon shit that I put in the back of my Fiesta. I don't know how I didn't go viral and pick, get trolled for that. But yeah, I'm going to let this cool down. And then I want to weigh it because it is quite heavy, but I think there is a little something, something that we can do to get a bit more weight on there. But yeah, let's go. Okay, then so it's time for the big reveal. With reveal, reveal. Let's weigh this up. All right. Oh. 
we're up and it's not been turned on we are shut up 12 kilogram 1200 zero, zero. spot on let me try to show you we are literally 12 kilograms and let's give it a go let's go ooh ooh let's miss this see ya mm. I've missed this but yeah 12 kilograms is enough maybe enough for some of you guys that are just starting out but I want more weight than that so let's go to the next step let's add some more weight so to add the extra weight, what I'm going to be using, I've got lugs and bolts that I took off my car not so long ago. And I'm going to be using those, putting the bolts through the holes on the germ, the discs. And I'm going to be putting a set of wheels on the end as well. So yeah, I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'll show you what it looks like when we're all, all together. Yeet. Alright then, so you guys that were saying, he's going to put his wheels on, he's going to put his wheels on it. Well, you're damn right I am. There we go. So I've got the 7 J's on. I did just try and use my travel scales, broke into a bit of a sweat trying to do it, and these are coming up past 40 kilograms, so that's very heavy. Um, I will try and get a bit of more of an accurate, accurate measurement, but these is more than enough just for arms. And then when you want to get a bit bigger, I've got the 9Js there, which probably weigh about 2-3 kilogram each, a bit more, so we can go up a bit. But yeah, let's get a nice little pump on. Let's go. <sighs> Oh, it's heavy. Oh, bad form. Oh, can do some squatting. Oh, 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 some shoulder press. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Alright then guys, that's the end of this video. Hope I've done it in my shape or form. I'm going in my garden and I am getting shredded, bruh. I'm not, I'm just going to do a couple of dumbbells, but yeah. Hope you guys found this useful. Hopefully you guys try it out yourself. If you do, make sure you tag me in it and yeah, peace out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.